if we shift over to Dawah to Christians, the most important thing to know about the Christians is on page 67 onwards is that Christians are divided into two main sects two main groups Protestants and the Catholics of course you know that well here in the UK you should know that they are split down the middle it's about 50-50 though the ratio may be different here in the UK in the world it's about 50-50 Catholics and Protestants the Protestants came about in the period of the Renaissance, 15th century, 16th century, when Martin Luther, a German priest, had gone to Rome seeking enlightenment, spiritual enlightenment, only to find the Pope acting like a temporal king, wearing golden robes, a big crown of gold on his head which was so heavy he couldn't actually wear it on his head it was suspended from the ceiling by iron uh, rods and he would just come and sit it was over his throne gold throne he would just come and sit underneath it and it would appear to people from a distance that he was wearing this, this crown but it was too heavy solid gold encrusted with, with rubies and emeralds if he didn't have that wire holding it, it would crack his neck, right? And this was the Pope, holding in one hand a staff made of solid gold and an orb, a circle with a cross on it made of solid gold. And Martin Luther came to seek spiritual enlightenment. He said, I can't get any enlightenment from this man, you know? So he was sick to, to you know, sick to his stomach of what he saw. He went back home. To, to Germany and he started to write a series of protests against what he saw and from the protests he and his followers came to be known as protestants protestants that's where it came from okay now the difference between the two what he protested against was the hierarchy of the church so the Pope the bishops the cardinals all those gone I know you have a Protestant group here, the Anglicans. I mean, they came about with Henry VIII, right? When he wanted to get married again and the Pope didn't want to <coughs> give him permission to remarry, divorce. He wouldn't allow him to divorce. So he, made, he broke with the church and said, okay, we'll make our own church here. His was over marriage. But the main group from Martin Luther they were actually protesting hierarchy etc that's why the Anglicans still keep a hierarchy quite similar to the Catholics the difference is not that great but they are the rest of the Protestants they have dropped that hierarchy you know they have councils and things like this instead and um, a major difference between the two is the Bible itself the Douay version of the Bible the Catholic Bible has seven more books than the King James Modern Standard Bible. So they have a difference in their Bible itself. This is important because they oftentimes will say to us, well you have Shiites, you have Shiites and Sunnis, you know, just like us. No, it's not just like you guys. You have different Bibles. Even the Shia and Sunnah, they have the same Quran still the same Quran in spite of the differences not only that you all are split down the middle you know the Shia are only like 20% of the main body of Muslims so it's not the same terms of course you might say it sounds like the same but it's not among the um, Christian sects you have some groups which are quite active the Mormons the uh, Seventh-day Adventists and the Jehovah's of course you need to know something about them I've brought some details here for you about them you can do more research these are the active uh, groups that are trying to raise followers all the time you know according to 1980 figures Mormons uh, gather over 200,000 converts every year similarly Jehovah's Witnesses are doing the same that was from the 80s 
So they're very active. But of course, most of their converts are from Protestants and Catholics, not amongst Muslims. Hmm? Anyway, you should know that the Mormons don't believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Uh, the Jehovah's Witness, they believe Jesus was the created Son of God. Right? So Son of God is more symbolic term that he is a part of the creation, Jesus. The Seventh-day Adventists, they believe in the traditional, that traditional belief, but they believe in worship on the Sabbath, on Saturday. And they ban alcohol as well as, uh, even for women, makeup and smoking, you know, there, and pork, they don't eat pork. So these groups, it's important to know the different beliefs that they have. The Mormons have some weird beliefs, you know, um, and they're probably some of the most active of, the, uh, of these groups. Uh, they have a belief that God is actually a big man. A huge man is a man looking like us but he's just big very very big and that you know Adam was him incarnate he became a small man on the earth and Eve was one of his wives from the heavens that he brought down to the earth with him you know got some stories like this um, they also had a belief that uh, they're also well known for polygamy, right? Of those groups, they're particularly known for poly polygamy. They're um, uh, the main sort of spokesman, Brigham Young, who the main university in Utah State, Brigham Young University, is named after him. He was the main f uh, person who gathered their followers after the, the, the founder, <coughs> Joseph Smith, had died. He had himself 25 wives, you know. And I mean, they had unrestricted polygamy, but the, 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 the nature of their organization, their movement or their sect, is that whenever they have problems, their leaders get revelation to correct the problems. So when the U.S. government threatened them with the removal of their statehood in Utah State, that they would take away statehood from them, if they don't stop this polygamy, all of a sudden, the, the leader got revelation that polygamy was to be banned, abrogated. Similarly, after the civil rights movement in America, because earlier um, the temples, they have this system of temples where women can't enter the temples and only males who have reached a certain age, you know, can enter the temples and black, blacks cannot enter the temples. Only whites are allowed into the temples as priests. Right? That's what they believed and practiced. All the way up until after the civil rights movement, when the whole idea of discrimination against blacks became mm, not good anymore, all of a sudden the, the leader got revelation that uh, blacks can now become priests also. Right? Similarly, uh, more recently they had, you know, after the women's rights movements, you know, women's feminist movements, Revelation came that uh, women can now come into the temples, right? So you see, this is the nature of their group, you know, and it's many of the other groups you'll see that, that they're always changing with the times, you know? And we say, this can't be a religion of God, you know, if it was wrong in the now, that blacks couldn't be priests, it had to be wrong in the beginning. And if this was according to the teachings of your founder, who claims to have heard his messages from an angel called Moroni, Right? Somehow strangely like moron. <laughs> but anyway, the point is that that's the name of the angel. And you have this book and he received this revelation and he's like a prophet. And that's what he taught. He was in error? No. He said, this can't be from God. This is something you made up. Similarly with uh, Seven Days Adventists. Jehovah's Witness, of course, uh, of Seventh Day Adventists, Ellen White, one of their founding members, she became a prophetess. They have a prophetess. She has written books, and you know, her books are considered to be revelation, and they follow her. Right? Some of their later followers showed that she plagiarized writings from other people's writings, you know, and 
and they have a book called The White Lie. If you want to know how to, re to um, refute them, this book called The White Lie. You know, this is some of the leading followers who wrote against uh, Ellen White, who was their prophetess. And they, they bring enough issues there that most Seventh-day Adventists, they don't even know about this book. You know? So it is a revelation for many of them. Anyway, 